It's a bit blooming nippy today. So the whole point in this video is basically to just quickly give you a rundown of my vlogging setup. So I've had the Pocket 2 now for nearly a year and within that time I've used it loads and I've used different accessories with it, I've used different, yeah, different accessories with it and I finally got to the point where I have got the setup that I like for quality in video, quality in the audio, so I'm just going to run through what I use with the Pocket 2. So the main thing is I, so I used to use this little Manfrotto tripod which I just used to use with the phone holder that I've got, it's the PGY Tech phone holder which is great because it's got a cold shoe mount on the top but I soon came to find that when I wanted to use an external microphone the phone holder having the cold mount the cold shoe mountain on the top wasn't actually great because you could see the um, you could see the microphone in the frame so I looked for a completely different tripod where I could actually attach the microphone to the tripod and so I got the Hulanzi MT33 which is great because as well as it being um, as well as it having that cold shoe mount on the side which you can actually rotate so that the microphone can either be facing you or facing away from you if you were getting b-roll for example it also acts like a gorilla pod almost so you can kind of wrap it around things and because it's quite big i mean it's not massive but because it is bigger it holds the whole setup without it falling over which is great and so yeah i use that ulanti tripod now instead of the little manfrotto one and as i said the pgy tech the pgy tech phone holder and as my microphone of choice so i've tried various different microphones and because i already had the rode video mic pro plus that's the microphone that i use because the sound quality is awesome it's just it's just great especially when it's really windy and you use the furry windshield it just cuts out so much wind and ambient noise as well so that's the microphone that I use. The other great thing about that microphone is the fact that if you plug it into the camera whilst the camera's turned on, then the microphone will turn on automatically as well. So you don't have to worry about attaching the microphone and then actually not switching it on, which I've done a few times with different microphones that require power. Um, but that microphone is quite pricey. I think it's over 200 pounds. So if you wanted to go for a microphone which was say under $100, £100, pounds, then you could look at the Sennheiser MKE 200 or the Rode Video Micro, both of which I've used and they also sound great as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my setup. I think it's awesome and it's what I've been using since I got my Pocket 2. There was one other thing that I forgot to mention and that's the fact that I use ND filters and um, I don't use the Pocket 2's wide angle lens anymore because I want to use ND filters at the same time and the only solution that there is for that is using the Freewell pack of ND filters and lenses so with that you get an anamorphic lens a wide angle lens and you can snap the ND filters to the back of those lenses which is awesome so they're the ND filters and lenses that I use I also do have some Skyreet filters ND filters they're variable ND filters so if I'm kind of if I know that it's a day where it's really really sunny and I'm not really bothered about having the wide angle lens then I'll chuck those ones on just because I can dial in the exposure a lot quicker than having to switch out the ND filters but for most of the time I do use the Freewell ones and I have done a video about those so do check out that video. So yeah I just wanted to do a quick video just to show you that just to show you how I've got it all set up and yes it definitely takes the Pocket 2 from being a very small setup to something that's being a lot bigger but you could also kind of forego the phone so you wouldn't have to use the phone holder and you could just not use the phone which I'm not even using at the moment anyway because the Mimo app isn't working um, so if you wanted to kind of slim it down and just make it a bit smaller then you could just kind of not have the phone attached and then just attach the 
pocket two to the straight to the um, tripod. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope you found it useful. Links are in the description to all the things that I mentioned in the video. And uh, see you on the next video.